In order to take advantage of all of the intelligent control modes and feedback on the Grandfoss Smart Digital XL dosing pump, you will need to know the proper way to connect the communication cables. Once connection is complete, we will simulate two common signals, so you know what to expect when wiring is correctly established. Let's get started. Take a look at the cable sockets on your pump. Notice how they match what is in your instruction document. Each cable socket has a unique configuration that matches its appropriate control cable. This ensures that the cables are only attached to the correct socket. Let's identify each socket. This is the analog input, external stop and pulse control socket. And this is the control cable with matching slot configuration. This is relay outputs. Its cable has a tab that will fit into the correct socket. This is the low level and empty signal sensor socket and cable. This is analog output. This is field bus communication. Take this time to match your control cables to the appropriate sockets based on your specific instruction document. One of the common connections is the analog signal or an external stop or pulse control signal. Line up the slot in the cable configuration to the socket and screw it into place. Another typical installation is the relay output. Align the cable tab with the socket and screw to secure. The dosing pump is now ready to receive input signals and give us feedback, and you are safe to connect it to power. Let's simulate an external stop start signal and analog signal. First, identify the pin assignments in your wiring diagram, paying special attention to cable colors to integrate the cables with your PLC. Notice the X. The X represents a potential free or dry contact that we can use to send a signal. Push the Start button on the control cube. To send a remote stop-start signal, we use a dry contact, no voltage needed. The wiring diagram tells us that pins on cables number one and three, or wire colors brown and blue, externally stop the pump. Confirm this assignment by touching the two wires. They create contact and stop the pump. Disconnect them and the pump starts again. The signal was sent successfully. To simulate sending an analog signal to the pump, we again use control cable number one. The wiring diagram tells us pins one and two, or the brown and white wires, are the correct assignment. Using a meter, connect the positive lead to the white wire and the negative lead to the brown wire. Then set the meter to source four milliamps. The control cube displays that the current signal is four milliamps. Push the start button on the pump. You will notice there is no change in the signal. Increase the signal on your meter to 20 milliamps and watch the pump react. It is now flowing at maximum capacity. This is very similar to a flow paste type of operation or an operation that requires sending a four to 20 milliamp signal from an upper level PLC to control the dosing pump. Your Grunfoss Smart Digital XL dosing pump is now properly wired.